Prince Harry seemingly had no limits when it came to the shocking accusations he made about his estranged brother Prince William in his tell-all memoir, Spare. The Duke of Sussex made some very personal claims against the future king from an alleged physical altercation between the pair at Kensington Palace to a tense showdown at Prince Philip's funeral with ongoing tension between the princes and their wives, Meghan and Kate. However, it's been revealed that his debut book may have just been the tip of the iceberg as far as Harry is concerned as he previously warned he had enough material to create a second explosive memoir. The 39-year-old also admitted that he had purposely left out certain secret details about his father and brother from Spares as he feared they would never forgive him if he revealed them, the Mirror reports. The Duke used to be very close with his father and brother before he left the firm in 2020, image, Chris Jackson slash Getty Images, he claims the original manuscript for his book was twice the length of the final draft and many details about interactions between him, Charles and William were cut out as there were some things he wasn't comfortable with the world knowing. The Duke revealed he had 50 Zoom calls with his ghostwriter and at times really struggled to choose which details to include and which ones to leave out of his memoir. Harry told The Telegraph, it could have been two books, put it that way. And the hard bit was taking things out. The Duke added, there are some things that have happened, especially between me and my brother, and to some extent between me and my father that I just don't want the world to know. Because I don't think they would ever forgive me. Meanwhile, an expert has claimed that Harry and Meghan's decision to air their dirty laundry in public has damaged the concept of a family monarchy. Since dramatically quitting their roles as senior working royals, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have mounted several high-profile attacks on their royal relatives especially on King Charles and Prince William. This has caused their relationship with other members of the firm to also turn cold as the couple are believed to no longer be in contact with the Princess of Wales or Queen Camilla either, who they've also publicly made allegations about. According to historian Dr. Ed Owens, not only has it damaged their personal relationships with Harry's immediate family but has also majorly dented the royal's image of being the best of British family life. Speaking on the Mirror's Pod Save the King podcast, Dr. Owens, author of the new book After Elizabeth, Can the Monarchy Save Itself?, also suggested it's time for the monarchy to drop its family image. He explained, the story is a slightly tragic one as it has damaged this idea of a family monarchy. This idea that this is a united group who embody, if you like, the best of British family life. Originally King Charles Ives' reign was going to be based around him being supported by his two trusty lieutenants, William and Harry. Harry's explosive memoir Spare was released in January this year, Image, Scott Olson slash Getty Images, but when that went so disastrously wrong in early 2020 because of Harry and Meghan's decision to leave Britain, it really put paid to that vision of the family monarchy. And then of course we've had the Sussexes airing their dirty laundry in public for the best part of three years, and again it has done much damage to that narrative of happy family life. Join the Daily Records WhatsApp community here and get the latest news sent straight to your messages. So why not, as I suggest in my book, do away with this family narrative once and for all. We don't need to have this big royal family presenting themselves as moral exemplars. King Charles is uniquely placed because he knows firsthand that the ideal of the family rarely matches the reality of the family monarchy.